For Millie, there's only one thing more scary than being the star of the show. The woman who stands 73 yards away throughout the episode. What unnerves you most about the woman that is 73 yards away is that you can never see her face. Even when Ruby takes a picture of her and tries to zoom in and looks at her and it's all blurry and distorted, you're like, what, what, why? And it is really creepy. Like, imagine that following you around all the time. I can't, I always try to wrap my head around that. It's horrible. The concept of 73 yards is a really interesting one. So obviously in this episode, Millie's character, um, Ruby discovers this old woman 73 yards away from her who she can never get any closer to. So no matter how quickly she walks towards her, the woman always maintains a, a 73 yard distance. It's 73 yards simply because when I was writing this, I had no idea of my distance. So I, to get the distance, I went out to Swansea Pier and on Swansea Pier, the railings are three and a half feet long, so I could measure, so I literally stood on Swansea Pier and, until I could stare just at people passing by. Uh, so a woman eventually was about 73 yards away, and I thought, that's the right distance. She's a blur, but she's not a blur. I can just about see her. And I handed the script in saying, that's not exactly a very scientific method. I think that's right. It, it might be 90, it might be 60. Turns out I was right. My, my scientific methods using railings on Swansea Pier were exactly right, and we've stuck with 73 yards. <laughs> For the crew, that didn't just mean plonking the woman 73 yards from the camera and shooting. They also required some science. We did loads of tests. Um, Sam, our DP, and Dylan, our director, they went out and they measured what 73 yards was. And then we messed around with lenses to see whether we could trick ourselves into thinking it was closer or further away. We had to stand at 73 yards away to make sure, A, we could see the woman and she was mysterious enough. So we had to make sure that even if we put a particular lens on it, we still couldn't see who she was. Even on the shoot, there was still calculating to do. And action! So I've been yeah. watching, and obviously it's a logistical challenge, isn't it? Yeah. And a maths one yeah. <laughs> to make sure that she's the same distance away all the time. Yeah, totally. So um, every time we see the old woman, we only see her from this very particular perspective, which makes you kind of squint, and you never are able to really see her face in any great detail. And that was really Russell's idea that was, I think, pretty much written into the script. And when I first saw it, I sort of thought, that's not going to work. And I said to Russell, Russell, that we've got to get closer, we've got to get some close shots. And he was like, no, 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 trust me, it will work. I was like, mm, OK. And we tested it and it works really well, I think. And what it means is you never really get in there and you're always squinting and there's something kind of scary about that, really. Cut the reset, please. Cut the reset. But every time we do a shot like that, we have to pull up our kind of favourite original take that we first did and match every other shot so that the woman is exactly the same size in the shot. So yes, it is a bit of a logistical that's challenge a headache, and a headache. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So that's how the 73-yard woman was filmed. 